Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me vlog. As you can see today I'm riding Philo and Philo is giving me lots of slobbery kisses. He's absolutely disgusting. Every time I touch him I get covered in slobber. He's just a goobery mess. So Philo and I both got spooked there for a moment. It's always a little scary when a horse spooks in a stall when you're with them. But to be fair, it also spooked me, so I can't blame him. And Philo's not really spooky, I don't think. I've never had a spook on him. He's a pretty good, confident boy. There, I think Philo's intrusive thoughts won for a moment, um, but I'm just giving him a good groom and he is shedding so much right now. Look at all that hair coming off. Guys, summer is around the corner. The weather is finally starting to look up and I'm so excited for summer riding. It is almost here. Now I'm just moving on to the hard brush and today is going to be my first time jumping Philo and I'm so excited to jump Philo. I feel like he's going to be really fun to jump. He is quite a forward horse. He's very forward in the trot and he's forward in the canter as well. So I feel like it, jumping him is going to be a very fun experience. And of course, the last step in the grooming process is picking out his feet. I'm just cleaning out his ginormous hooves. Oh, oh, oh. You go. Good boy. And now that grooming is all done, it is time to tack up and I'm just getting Philo's saddle on and Philo got a brand new girth and it is a lot tighter than his old one. Sorry, he doesn't like the girth, that's why. Get away from me. He, oh my goodness. Hi. This girth, oh, you're trying to get me. And I got, I'm literally sweating. <laughs> okay, I got one. That was literally so hard. Hey, please forgive me. He's all mad at me now. So take your oh. Abuse yourself. Yeah, abuse yourself, don't abuse me. Good boy. Back it up. Hi. Hi. What happened to your forelock, Philo? Come on. So now that we're in the arena, I'm just going to double check my tack before getting on, checking his bridle, and then I'm going to, of course, adjust my stirrups and tighten the girth. Um, like I said, this is a new girth and it was pretty tight on the first hole, although Philo was puffing out his belly, but I'm just checking it now and it seems good enough, so I'm just going to leave it for now. I probably will tighten it before we canter, but I'm just going to trot around and see how it feels before tightening it again because it was pretty tight. That's a stinky poop, Philo. <laughs> Stop being a booger. Oh my goodness, you're so tall. Of course, starting off with a couple laps of walk before I ask him to pick up the trot and we warm up the trot for a little bit. Down there, you'll notice it's very, very flat. So please use your corners properly. So you can have a nice 
Philo tends to be a big corner cutter, especially on that right lead canter. So I find if I establish good corners at the beginning of the ride, he's less likely to have such big corner cuts. Keep this right shoulder open and back more. Bye. Come on, big guy. Nah. As you're pushing him into this corner, make sure your right rein is holding. That way he's bending. So you okay. want right rein up and back like this. See how his nose bends yeah. in a little bit? Don't ever cross it over, but up and back like this. And then right leg pushes his bum over. Okay. Okay. That's what you're aiming for. Inside eyeball. Oh God. Inside eyeball, yes. Yep, 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 that's a better quarter, yep. Yep, let's change direction, guys. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, cause I like, I was like, wait, how am I on the wrong posting diagonal? I sat for two bombs. Oh my goodness. That was really funny. I have no idea how I managed to cross the diagonal and not change directions. Um, but now we have changed directions and we are working over our line of poles here. So after each round of going over the poles, we're going to change direction and then go over them and then change direction again to go the other way. As you can see there, it's definitely harder to push Philo into the corners on the right side. He's more inclined to cut the corners on the right side. That is his weaker side. I definitely want to try and keep those corners good so I don't struggle as much in the canter because it is quite a struggle sometimes with his right lead canter corners. And now we're just taking a quick walk break before we move on to our next exercise. Because we are moving on to canter now, I'm just checking his girth and seeing that I can go up a hole. He was just puffing out his belly a lot. I guess that's me. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Okay. You ideally want him to go into 
the corner more, closer to the corner. Than yeah. The okay. <sighs> Easy. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so that wasn't bad. Of course, I forgot some things, but what else is new? Uh, see what I mean with those right corners? So this time, obviously, I want to focus on getting deeper into that right corner before asking for the canter, and then obviously making bigger circles. Philo is so large, I can't get away with small circles like that. On a pony, I could, but not with Philo. Let's go one more time. Why don't we do it the other way? Let's go A to C. Try. I actually think his canter is like so comfortable now. Like, cause I rode Daisy on Saturday and I was like, Daisy's bumpy. She's, she's yeah, and now I'm on Philo and I'm like, oh, it's actually so comfortable. No, I love riding Philo. Okay, so that time I think it was a big improvement. Didn't forget the course obviously. And the circles, the second circle was a lot better. Um, actually, I want to go second. Why? The tricky thing about diagonal jumps is making sure you use your quarter enough Don't let your horse land and go towards the seat. They've got to land and go towards the seat. So keeping Philo in the corner is going to be tricky, especially because that is the right lead corner. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I also think I two pointed way too early. Yeah, you anticipated. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I felt that there was like hesitation. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I could definitely feel myself two pointing a little too early there. I just felt like he was gonna take off long, maybe. So I don't know, but I'll try and be patient for this next time. Yeah. You need to learn to keep your body very still. Your body doesn't make any movements to make him go. For the jump? Huh? For the jump or yeah, at the jump you want him to go fast but you uh, your shoulders at it. Okay. You need your body to stay still. Your leg can kick to make him go. The upper body has to stay still. Okay.
Yeah. He's jumping like this, he's landing, like his feet are landing here, pointing toward the mirrors. We have to keep your eyes and his nose pointed at H. H? Okay. Yeah, that's more important than the jump, than his lead, than anything right now. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely struggling to keep Philo straight during that jump. Yeah. Better jump, not rushed, much straighter, landed his lead, all that was a lot better. He just got a bit left behind. Okay, okay. Oops. <laughs> okay, so that one was better. We finally jumped more or less straight and didn't severely cut that corner. Don't rush him, soften your hand. Yeah. Slow him down a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sounds good. Good boy. Are you just gonna stand here? So this is going to be our first time doing an exercise where we actually have to do something after the jump, so we'll see how it goes. Daddy. Daddy. Easy. Daddy. Oh, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Easy. Easy. No, but it was right. No. It was actually wrong. He landed wrong, he did a flying knee change for you. Oh, fancy boy. Yeah. Okay, so that wasn't too, too bad. Um, cut the corner after the jump and cut the corner going towards the pole. Um, definitely need to focus on that. Philo loves to cut his corners. Easy. 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 Fancy boy doing another flying lead change. Honestly, I always forget to check the lead after a jump. I need to make a habit of checking because they're not always going to change it for you. Yeah. Was that too long? A little. Okay, okay. Yeah. When you're like this far away for maple, just say this could be three strides. Yeah. And if you have to be here, you're like, mm -hmm. that's too long for a two, but too tight for a three. So then you try to adjust them. Yeah. So if it's too long, you want to go faster to get closer to it. Okay. If it's going to be too short, you want to whoa, slow down to fit in more steps. Okay, okay. Yeah. Man, you literally have like a split second to figure that out and make a decision. So today was honestly such a good lesson. We had a valuable lesson in striding and trying to figure out your strides. And Philo is really not that easy to jump. Um, so I'm glad that I had this lesson on him. And I would love more opportunities to jump in because I think he will have a lot to teach me about jumps and counting strides and obviously maintaining crookedness. <laughs> Like you're actually disgusting, Philo. Don't nip me. Philo, you're smiling. 
Oh my goodness, guys. See what I mean? Philo is absolutely disgusting. Being around him is a hazard. I just get covered in slob and covered in filth. He's nasty, but I love him anyways. <laughs> and now we're just going to cool out before we head back into the barn where I'll groom him. He'll have some food and then he can go back outside. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I do hope to see you next time in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I know. Oh, you have such a sweet face. <laughs>